Hello. Like many Frostburg alums, I was the first in my family to go to college. That meant I had to navigate it alone. I recall my parents telling me when I went off to college that they could help me through high school. Uh, both of them uh, did not graduate from high school. My father got a GED uh, from, uh, after service in the military. But they said, you know, college is something they weren't familiar with, and I had to hope that I could navigate those waters of college on my own. And I did. And it was interesting because I learned about credit hours, I learned about taking courses, and how to segment and sequence things that were important to a college education. Uh, looking back on it now, I realize how important it was to have the support you need when you're in college to help get through those four years of school. And continuously since 1973, first generation, low income and other students at Frostburg State University have had the guidance of student support services, a federally supported TRIO program to help them through the hurdles of higher education. Frostburg Student Support Services Program, known as SSS, has had years of success in closing the educational opportunity gaps for these students who persist in school and graduate at higher rates than the national average. I'd like to introduce you to Bobby Boykin, a senior information technology major who is president of our Student Support Services Executive Board. Bobby, I have a few questions for you. Before you came to Frostburg, what did you expect college life would be like and how was it different from what your expectations were? Well, coming to Frostburg for me was both an exciting and nerve-wracking experience at the same time. Um, you know, coming from high school, our teachers always used to tell us how difficult college was and how, how hard it was to adapt. So, you know, coming in, I was very afraid of the workload freshman year being overwhelming, and I was afraid that my professors wouldn't care about the progress within my courses. So as the semester progressed, I came to realize that none of these things were true. My professors did care, and I found out that um, I was given an academic advisor, and I was also placed in the ORI course, which is an introduction course, which contributed to my success here greatly. So that first year class really did make a difference. It really did. It really did. Great. Bobby, did you notice any changes uh, or any differences between your preparation and then the preparation of students who had parents or family members that had gone to college? Yes. Um, I say the main difference was preparation because it's almost as if they came to college with an all-purpose academic advisor, that advisor being their parents. Um, freshman year, you know, I had friends, and, you know, I asked them, hey, did you complete FAFSA? And they say, yeah, my mom did it or my dad did it. And, you know, it's small things like that that really, you know, can have a negative impact on freshmen and first generation coming into college because, you know, it's something that weighs on them and it's a lot of pressure. So I feel like having answers to those little, to the, um, having answers to those little questions will make a difference in a positive or negative experience for first-generation college students. It's interesting you mentioned the advisors because I had the same experience. Mm -hmm. I came to college, didn't have an advisor mm -hmm. that I could count on at least at home and informally relied on a lot of students to help me navigate some of those aspects that you had to take care of in terms of questions and things. Right, and you can understand the pressure because you don't know how to do it and then your parents don't know how to do it. So you don't know you're going to get an advisor when you come to college, so now you like uh-oh. <laughs> Can you describe a, sp a specific challenge you had and how you overcame it here at Frostburg? Yes. Um, coming into Frostburg, a challenge for me would have to be my work ethic. So, you know, in high school, um, I played a lot of sports. And also in high school, you know, I just did the bare minimum to kind of get by. So coming into college, you know, the workload, it wasn't overwhelming, but it was heavier than high school. So what I had to do to, to overcome this challenge was I had to listen to my advisors and I had to listen to my professors. So I started to study more and I dedicated more hours towards my academics. That's great. That's good to hear. Now, uh, let's talk about student support services. Can you think of ways where student support services has helped you deal with some of the challenges you've faced here at Frostburg State University? Yes. Um, student support services would have to be the main reason, one of the main reasons why I stayed here at FSU. Um, like I said earlier, when a first generation college student or even just a, a freshman in general, um, you're nervous, you're uncomfortable because you're in a new environment. So one of the things that student support service provided to me early on was they made me feel comfortable. And not only that, they showed me that they cared. So with that, they've given me um, financial knowledge. Um, they presented me with several opportunities. Some of them opportunities were 
um, me being lucky enough to be president of the student exec board, um, also I was able to become a student success mentor or mm -hmm. SSM for um, Frostburg State University um, and also the opportunity to be speaking with you here today. Good. And looking back on your experiences here at Frostburg State University, um, how have you changed? How have you changed from when you came from high school to where you are today? I'd say my whole persona in general has changed. I say my work ethic has changed. I've gained so much financial knowledge. Um, and besides the academics, just life skills, internships, experience, I've gained all of that. And I feel like because of Frostburg State and because of student support services, I'll be able to navigate my career and life goals successfully. Lastly, as we finish up the interview, um, what do you want people to know about your experience? Yes. Um, speaking specifically to first-generation students or freshman students in general, um, I want them to know that when you come into college, when you think you're alone, you're really not alone. I want them to know that faculty, staff, and other students are here to help you, and they'll only help you as much as you let them help you. One thing I've learned in speaking from experience is that um, relationships that you build open up opportunities down the road. So I want them to know not to be afraid to open their mouth. And I also want everyone to know that Frostburg State and Student Support Services every day help students um, and, teach, and teaching them everything they need to know to be successful in life. Thanks, Bobby. And I'll tell you one thing to add to it is just that I think you mentioned the relationships mm -hmm. from talking with alums, the relationships you've made here will oftentimes continue throughout your lifetime. So again, thank you for, for your comments. No thank you. I'm sure there are many alumni who can point to student support services as a difference between staying in school and leaving. We want to hear where you have gone from here. Please send your stories to alumni at frostburg.edu and you can help us celebrate 45 years of FSU Student Support Services this upcoming year. Thank you.